first fight of the year. Tate tries. Janoski's made a decent start, so has Laguta. Woffenden on the inside run here. Woffenden now goes right, but Laguta's got the lead. Woffenden is second, Janoski is third. Here comes Freddie Lindgren. Lindgren's in the mix, putting the pressure on here now. And Woffenden is under all sorts of pressure. Janoski charging through. Laguta riding brilliantly up top. And the battle is on for second. Janoski's got it right now. And oh. here comes Lindgren on Woffenden as well. Oh, from Laguta, what a start it was. He's cleared off, he's going to win his first form. Freddie Lindgren and Wolfenden really tearing it up for third place. Janowski's come through into second. Wolfenden now relegated to the back. Lindgren working big time. He's going to get 16 world championship points if he hangs on there. But for Arts and Laguta, this is going to be a career-defining moment. His first Grand Prix win and will lead the world going into tomorrow night. Yes, you're quite right, Kel. This man deserves it. The most consistent rider of the night. And Arts and Laguta of Russia wins the opening. Grand Prix of the 2020 season and his first ever Grand Prix victory in his career in his 30th appearance tonight. Congratulations, Artem Laguta! What a night for Artem Laguta, really has been in a class of his own, 62 seconds flat. What a time in the final, cleared off, really showed a clean pair of heels. And quite clearly the fans are on their feet, the Russians overjoyed with that. Green light on, and away from the start. Janowski's made a good one, Wuffenden is going wide here, and now that allows Lindgren the opportunity to sneak up the inside. Wuffenden's got speed, now he's going to try the outside run on his better uh, Rotslav teammate, and Janowski holding the lead. Svarsnik is third, Lindgren's gone to the back, but Matze Janowski looking superb, wins this. He'll be on 38 Grand Prix points, and will be the new leader of the championship. Wuffenden wheel in the air, his time wasted. Get it back down, boy. Done him, done Janowski a favour, it killed his momentum and now he's clamped smartly on the line, Janowski's got it. That lifting down the back straight from Wuffenden really put his pay to his chances tonight. Pretty much gifted the win to Janowski, barring mechanical failure, looking good, made the start, down the back straight, looked a little bit nervous but he's pulling away, smiles like hanging on in third, Freddie Lingwood rege- relegated to fourth, but Janowski, the night is going to belong to him, Nigel. It's going to be his seventh Grand Prix win of his career, he's going to take up the lead in the World Championship, 38 points now for Matze Janowski, Wuffenden backs 18 points for his second place, so he moves on to 32 points he's in the title hunt all right a magnificent performance yeah and great to see what congratulating him class act yeah class, class riders both riders indeed of Roslav one two the fans are loving it night it is Sam the green light is on and away from the start Doyle Doyle. Made a good one off gate number three goodness me he's got his traffic gloves on there but Smarsnik comes through now Bartos Smarsnik has the lead and the home fans are jumping up and down with delight here Doyle is second in the white helmet colour Lindgren is going to switch up the inside now Ooh. Manson battling away but Doyle holding on to second place Manson's going high and wide into the dirt but he's adrift in uh, the fourth place now but what about this from Bartos Smarsnik Doyle's got pace He has indeed, the Australian brilliant away from the start, gate three working a treat for him, but Smartling held that inside line and was able to get himself to the front. Doyle suddenly has got that bike working and he's riding brilliantly in second place, turning his fortunes around, Doyle's coming on strong, there's a lap to go, can the Australian win here again in the Edward Janssen Stadium, down the back straight night. Well, he's going to try the inside, Carl Smartling spots him, now Doyle on the inside, Smartling's in the dirt, down to the line, the night, Smarslick wins, gets the 20 points, but what a race from Doyle, Doyle very nearly stole the win away, fabulous respect between the two world champions, <laughs> Smarslick's had a crash, congratulating Doyle, but that was some speedway race again there, Jason Doyle suddenly finding the pace, the speed, oh, fabulous moment. Grand final in Korshov, here we go! And what a start from Doyle! Jason Doyle has got there, watch out for Lindgren in yellow, he's going to try the outside run, but Doyle has got there at the moment. Here comes Lindgren in yellow! Fast Freddy Lindgren! Will Doyle allow him the room? Oh, it's getting tight! Oh, and then Watson on the inside as well, Doyle's taking oh. it off! And now Lindgren tries the inside run, nothing's going to stop him here! Coming up the inside into second place, the Danish boy.
Hamilton pushing hard. Emil Sonsbuden up out the back. Still racing to be done for second place. Don't have the inside this time. Charges into second place, but Freddie Liebman, what a moment for him into the last lap. Yeah, and that's a world be denied. Neither will Doyle. Oh, oh man, it's great stuff oh, this. Oh, that's in second place. Yeah, Freddie Liebman, though, here at his 30th Grand Prix final. It's going to be his fifth win. Oh! oh takes out Doyle. Oh, was there contact there? It was indeed. Doyle puts his left arm in the air. Man is furious about that. Man, oh, Freddie Lindgren. Wow, what a performance from Freddie Lindgren. And Doyle goes straight to the race director, Phil Morris. Not happy with that. Leon Matson literally riding Jason Doyle off the track coming out of the last corner. Freddie Lindgren, he doesn't care about that. He wins in fine style. Dramatic final here in Gorge of two nights of wonderful speedway. Fast Freddie Lindgren leading the World Championship on 66. It matches his number on his race jacket. There's something for you. Grand final here at the Marquette Stadium in Prague. We know Emil's won one here. Ty Wuffenden loves this place, but Smarslik is there. Smarslik has got the lead early on. Wuffenden's coming through the traffic. Oh. Up into second spot now. Vashilik is third, and Ty picked it off at the back. But Bartosz Smarslik, the reigning world speedway champion, with seven Grand Prix victories under his belt in his career, and 26 previous finals. He's got the lead, but Wuffenden's going to push him hard here. He is indeed. Certainly, Emil Saifudinov missed out of gate number two. Smashing start from Smarslik. Wuffenden through. Brilliant in that first corner, he's got speed, he's charging hard in second place. 20 points for Smarshley will push him on to 79, he'll lead, lead the championship. He'll lead the championship. Down the back straight here now, just beginning to put away. Smarshley really capitalising here. Yeah, Bartosz Marshley showing what a true world champion he is as he kicks on here. Wolfgang in second, third is Vashilik, so Fuganov's been left training at the back. 20 points incoming now. For Bartosz Smarslik, Kovina with a handy 18 points here, though. That'll be good for him. But Bartosz Smarslik, the reigning champion, takes the check and flag in the Marquetta Stadium in Prague. And that is the eighth Grand Prix victory of his career in 24 final appearances. Bartosz Smarslik leads the world championship. He's top of the standings and he's defending his world title. Well done, that man. Brilliant stuff from Bartosz Smarslik after the disappointing of not going back to back in Gorzhov, showing great. Great character, great strength tonight. They're away, no problem this time. Smarslik's made a good one, has got the drop on Lindgren. Wuffenden's going high and wide Wuffenden. around the outside here. Oh, Ty Wuffenden, do it. down the back straight, Ty Wuffenden! Wow! Oh, my goodness me! What a ride that was! But he's got Smarslik all over him. Doyle's come through into third and Lindgren's at the back. But Ty Wuffenden, 20 points for him tonight. Well, that will put him on to 91 Grand Prix points. But Smarslik is quick here. He is indeed. What a first corner for Wuffenden. He made a beautiful start out of gate number three. Smarslik's hunting him down. Gonna say Wuffenden, oh, up the inside. Smarslik pushing hard. Can he win? That would have been 38 points out of two nights for Wuffenden with a broken bone in his hand. I do believe there's something wrong there. Here we see Doyle in third place. Lingwood's out the back. One lap to go. Smarslik's gonna throw everything at this. Yeah, he tries to chop up the inside and he's gonna do Wuffenden here. He's gonna charge up the inside. Long track style. And now Wuffenden will try one last move up the inside. Can get close? Can get close? Smarslik's done it. Oh. Bartosz Smarslik has won two Grand Prix in two nights and moves on to 99 points. What that is a final. massive result. And with Lindgren at the back, uh, there is daylight between Smarslik and Lindgren now. Wuffenden with 18 points. Terrific work from him. He moves uh, into a good position. Uh, Ty Wuffenden third before tonight, of course. That is a huge result, and I can't help but feeling that Bartosz Smarslik has taken a huge step towards defending his world title successfully. Wow, what a final that was! We had to wait, and Crikey did it deliver in spades. Wuffenden sensational off the first corner on the first lap. I thought for a moment he was going to win it, but Smarslik hunted him down and passed him brilliantly down the back straight. Here we go. Green light on. Oh, he's missed it. And away they go from the start. Janowski's made a good one. Now, although Smarslik's missed it, which way will he go here? Because he leads Wuffenden. Here comes Wuffenden up the inside. What a move from Ty Wuffenden. He's got the lead on Bartosz Smarslik. Janowski is now trying the outside run. Yeah, Smarslik at the back, but how much longer will be at the back, five, the back four as he charges up the inside of Wuffenden and really puts a squeeze on it? This will be OK for Smarslik, unless Wuffenden can pass 
Janowski here and make progress. Max Frick's in the lead. Yeah. Max Frick's going to win the Grand Prix. What a night from Max Frick. Unbelievable stuff from him. He's having the night of his life. Have I not mentioned him yet? You didn't know. <laughs> we will now. Max Frick <laughs> from the inside. What a night he's enjoying. Superb stuff. The two teammates, in actual fact, first, second and third to Brotswap here. They're all teammates in the Extra Liga. Smarschlick just missed out. He made a bad start and he's paid the price. But for Max Frick, it's going to be the night of his life so far. Yep, down to the oh, line. Oh, just about <laughs> straight off. He nearly threw it away. <laughs> what a night for Frick. Yeah. He comes good when he really needed to. He rode superbly well in the semi-finals. Of course, the championship must take precedence as well. We must give it some time. But for Max Frick winning his first Grand Prix, I think we may see a bit more of this young man in the future. Got to have half a chance now. He's a winner of a Grand Prix to be a wild card for next year. The grand final in Torren and the final round of the World Championship. Oh, my and goodness. Freddie Lindgren's had a nightmare at the start. It's oh, looking like a runoff. It is indeed. Matsianovsky with the lead. And here comes Artem Laguta. Jason Doyle will be cheering Matsianovsky on here. Uh, Yanovsky has that lead. Here comes Smarslik up the inside. Oh! Oh, oh, stay on your bikes, boys. Don't ruin it now. It's and Smarslik is coming through. The World Champion again piles through. Here comes Yanovsky, but Smarslik closes the door. Unbelievable ride again for Bartosz Smarslik. Mate, you don't need to do it. You've already done the hard yards. But he doesn't know. He's a racer. He's a winner. And he's out in front and he's going to win the Grand Prix. Janowski with such a fine start. You've got to feel for Freddie Lingwin there. We don't know what's happened, but some sort of mechanical issue. We're going to see another race because Ty Wuffenden's going to have to warm his bike up because he's going to have to go head-to-head -head with Freddie. But for this man, he's going to be crown world champion and... And the Grand Prix winner. What a result for Bartosz Smarslik. Rounds off the championship in some style and he cannot believe it. A shake of the head. He won the world title a few moments ago. He's won the Grand Prix now. A fairy tale night. Yeah. For Emil Saifutinov in Torun. Bartosz Smarslik. Um, but, what um, did I say? Emil Saifudinov. Somebody in my ear was saying Emil Saifudinov. Uh, Bartosz Smarslik has won four... <laughs> We're trying to work out these maths! <laughs> <laughs> Emil Saifudinov wasn't actually no, in the wasn't. race. No, he wasn't. He wasn't in the race. I'm getting somebody uh, in my ear but, telling me the positions. Just keep quiet for a minute. <laughs> Bartosz Smarslik, that is an incredible finish to the night. Wow, the place has just gone crazy. He's won four uh, Grand Prix. He has been the outstanding rider through the championship. Fantastic. It's got tight at times, but by golly, when the chips were down, he has come through. Fantastic ride.